doing research for the show, I got to see not only uh, most, if not all, your films, but um, e. a lot of talk show appearances. My finest work. <laughs> well, you say you say that you're the worst talk show guest ever. Have you Do watched you them that? all? Yeah. But I, you know, I, I watch them and I go, okay, is that performance art or is it? Um, did it start with nerves and turn into performance art? I don't know what it is. I don't know. I have. I have no plan. I never have a plan when I go on those shows. Like those kind of situations go against like every instinct in my body to like retell a story and act like it's the first time I've told it. Right. It does often look rehearsed, or it does look like there was some sort of conference before where. Well, it, there is. Yeah. There's well, like a pre-interview. I know. That's that's why it always is weird for me because I have those pre-interviews, so I know what we're going to talk about, and it's so hard for me to like do to like just do that. I end up like just derailing it. And I think we should say to people who don't know that there's no pre-interview here. Yeah. There's there isn't. No. I had no idea what was going to happen. You don't even know where you were. I don't know where I am. <laughs> it's true. Um, Most of the time. So, like, can you tell when you're making someone else uncomfortable? No. You can't? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I could, I don't think I would. I mean, I'd, I don't ever want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. I feel terrified every time I do it. You do? It. Oh my God. I like want to die every time I do it. And is it the live audience? It's like that thing, everything's live. I just live don't like and... being my, I just, I'm more comfortable, you know, working and right. being, you know, even doing stand up is different because even though I only did it for a little bit, but like I was not being myself, you know, I was like being a persona, kind of like a heightened version of myself. And I just always have this like existential crisis whenever I go on those shows because like it's so weird to just try to just be yourself when you like have no idea how to do that. In my mind, I'm like, none of these people care about what I did over the summer. Like I just, I can't get over the idea of it. But I like doing it. It's fun. I try to have fun with it because it's funny. And I always think about, well, like my 12 year old like self would think this is like hilarious that right. I'm like being allowed to go on like television. Yeah. <laughs> so I just try to remember that. And then you try I try to honor her. Yeah. I just try to have fun with it and not take it too seriously. Cause I just, the, the minute that I like really get wrapped up in that and think like, oh, I, like this is like what I need to say or this is whatever, like it's over.